and uh, to solve that problem I initialize the string which is name and uh, phone before the lo before page is loading I'm I'm assigning the values to this area you can see this now what we do is uh, we can just get the values what, uh, whenever it's a page is loading it will store the values in name and phone whenever you click uh, update button it also getting to the page load and now we uh, what we have to do I mean it works fine right now so wh what we do is we request the form now I'll just say it this way but, uh, I'll say edit and I'll, I'll initialize uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine so I say update yes you see it is updated that's how we're gonna do updating and uh, you can write one our confirmation yes you can write that this is the update code and uh, next thing we go for delete so here it's a simple the same thing what I do I'll say add column same thing link I'll say delete in this I'll say ID and delete contact dot ASPX ID equals to yeah. see what the same thing I will do okay now I can see the delete as well so now I go I go here and I'll add two different pages again and I'll just add one different page too because I don't want all the stuff I'll say simply you know I'll say delete sorry sorry so delete.aspx now here you c it's a simple thing I'll just con I'll just uh, copy this thing I'll say I'm sure let's appear or two this one copy and uh, paste now here in this I'll say it's a very simple thing I'll say data uh, sorry DB DB is equals to new database context data class context and now here I say here I write var QRI is equals the same query which is I, I write it for the you know the same query I'll just copy it and paste it here what we do is the for each we write var q in q r i here i'm going to delete whatever the word whatever we have in the d database so i mean the particular row so what we do is we write dbl contacts dot we have a function called delete on submit so the submit what do we do is we write simply write q so it's kind of entity now so we're gonna write q and next thing we do is uh, sorry about that db dot uh, submit changes submit changes this is a very important thing whenever you say submit changes the changes will occur to i mean changes will happen in the database so the query whatever the query whatever the LINQ whatever we getting it or whatever the changes we made to the database or data uh, table it automatically apply to that particular database context so we it automatically updates and uh, uh, values in the table so now what we do is response dot redirect uh, redirect I'll say default dot ASPX so that's cool now uh, next thing I'll you know I can say simply copy this paste that's great uh, I got it so whenever you run this one sorry about that I run the wrong file ok it's a default table default dot aspx file ok ok now if I click on delete it's asking for sure so if I say no it won't happen anything if I say yes it will say you can see that it's releasing data so for example if I add anything or anything else I'll see it's you can see it's adding so if I say delete yes it is delete so if I go for edit it's changing the values 
say yes now it is changing the value so this is how we do the values and you not only that you can change the values whatever you want it says yes values update that's how we do update the values thank you very much this is uh, Sundarbhat and keep subscribing thank you very much bye and don't forget to subscribe i'm really sorry that's good enough bye